Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the pH of your water for plants, okay? It's very important that you know this so that you don't kill your plants. Do not water your plants with chlorinated water. Most tap water are chlorinated. So I encourage you, if you can get distilled water, it's even better, okay? So what you want to do is to first, you need different things to adjust the pH of your water. Hey. And uh, the best way to do that is to make sodium hydroxide solution okay i call it 1090 you're going to take 10 percent of the light sodium hydroxide light you're going to take 90 percent of water and mix it together that solution will help increase the ph of your water so that's first i'm still going to show you how to do that then to lower the ph of your water okay you're going to use citric acid solution okay it's called 50 50 citric acid solution you take 50 gram of 50 percent of citric acid added to 50 percent of citric, uh, of distilled water that will make it uh, make a 50 50 solution right then you can you can use that to lower the ph of your water so now the first thing you want to do is to check the ph of your water do not use ph strip it's not accurate a lot of a farmer, indoor farmer, or outdoor farmer, they use pH strip, it's wrong. Okay, so the first thing you want to take is take your uh, pH meter. Anna pH meter is highly recommended. You can see a link in the description box below for where to get it. So I have distilled water here, so you want to check the pH of your water, number one. So check the pH of your water. Okay, most of uh, vegetable, okay, they grow well, they thrive in a pH uh, between six at least six between six and six point five okay um most vegetables do not thrive in highly acidic uh, ph you don't want it so between six and six point five is perfect for you okay even if you still have if you still have five point eight right it's still good for you so check the ph of your water i have distilled water here usually the ph of distilled water is around uh, five but this one gave me 4.9 before I took it out. So now you know it's okay. It's, you still need to bump it up a little bit. <coughs> Even though you can still use this to water your plant, no problem. But it's slightly acidic. Vegetable thrive well, okay, in mid alkaline solution, okay? I mean, not, it doesn't, I won't call it mid ph between six and seven so 6.5 will do well for you so you're going to grow very healthy vegetables and that so take your water now i want to bump up this ph of this water right so i'm going to make 1090 light solution 10 percent light and 90 percent distilled water okay that is what i'm going to make now so what you're going to do there is to measure Measure your water. Do not add uh, do not add water to light. Make sure you add light to water. Okay, very very uh, is is a very strong base. So you want to be careful when doing that. So measure ninety gram of distilled water. I mean, in this one, I want to make hundred percent solution. So I will measure ninety gram of distilled water. I'm not doing titration here, so that's why you 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 see me not following the proper that is not needed at this stage okay just basic measurement I'm measuring 90 gram of distilled water and I'm going to add 10 gram of sodium hydroxide solution to it. 10 gram of sodium hydroxide to make 100 gram Please watch this video to the end. Do not make a baby say so as not to kill your plant. Okay. So once you are done with that, you want to mix that solution until sodium hydroxide dissolves. 
So we have 1090 sodium hydroxide solution, not titration, not typical chemistry titration, just straightforward measurement. Okay, so mix it well. <coughs> be careful when working with light. It's a very corrosive base, so be careful. So after mixing that, then you want to take a little drop at a time, okay, to adjust the pH of your water. If you have a reusable pipette, this, right, you're going to take a little bit of that, just a little bit at a time, okay? We want to bump up the pH of our water and drop it in your water. That's how you check the pH. I cannot tell you exactly how much you had to, but when you get used to it, you will know exactly, right? So drop in the water <coughs> and check the pH of that water. By that, by now, it should have jumped. Now, look at me, look at something here. I checked the pH before it was uh, five point something, right? Now I'm checking the pH is 10.11. You'll see what I mean? So that's how you bump up the, now this, this water is not good for your plant, right? We will have to lower it. So I really like this video. I, I know it's going to help a lot, a lot of you out. The next thing we want to do now is to lower the pH. It's too high for our water. <clears throat> the pH of this water is, is highly, it's crazily alkaline. We can use this for our plants, right? So how do we do it? We're going to lower the pH. Then that's what the next section comes in. We have to make a 50-50 citric acid solution. That is what we're going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what we're going to use to lower the pH of our water. So take a, take a container, you're going to measure 50 gram of citric acid. Citric acid is a weak acid, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But also still be careful when dealing with anything. So measure 50 gram of citric acid. gram of citric acid and add 50 gram of distilled water to it. That is called 50-50 solution. It's not titration so don't get me wrong if anybody can want to say oh no it's not right. No. Okay. Mix it well. Do not use uh, do not use steel for any other thing I'm doing here. Okay, you might be tempted to want to use uh, your uh, stainless steel. Do not, please. Polis, uh, polystyrene um, or HDPE or PET plastic will do. Okay. So mix it well until that <coughs> citric acid solution dissolves. It's cold, so it's not something strange. Citric acid is cold anytime you add it to water. It's the opposite of... Uh, of sodium hydroxide, which is hot. So you need to mix it until it dissolves. We will mix it, it, it will take some time to dissolve, but that's no problem. So once it dissolves well, what you want to do is to take a little bit at a time. You know you the same uh, Transfer pipette you use to okay for the for the base for the acid. So you're going to take and if you don't have a pipette, if you have a tiny spoon, you can use a tiny spoon to introduce a little bit at a time. This is our water, okay. The pH is a bit on the high side. Now we want to lower it, okay? The pH of this water is high. So we want to lower it. <coughs> Okay, so the pH is a bit on the high side, so we want to lower it. You lower the pH with an acid, you, you raise the pH with a base. Keep it in mind. Lower the pH with 50-50% citric acid solution. We can raise the pH with 1090 or anything you like. 1090 is my preference, light solution. That's why you used to raise the pH. But now I want to lower the pH. Now this is the 
citric acid solution. Make sure you mix it well until it dissolves. So just a little bit at a time. Okay. I'm using a little bit, I'm using a disposable pipette here. Drop a little bit at a time in your water and mix it. All right. Then you check the pH. Now let's check the pH. Now it should have reduced. See? It has reduced to eight something. So let's keep checking until it reduced to what we want, right? <coughs> now it's reducing too much also. So you see what I mean? It's it's a it's a bit it's a bit on the hard side to do this. If you do not have chemistry background, if you give this a try, you still love it. Now it has reduced it to four point nine, right? Which I don't want also. So I'm going to go back again. Take a little bit of my light solution 90 10 90 light solution drop it in there just one this time around mix it i want to see what i get i want to see what i get this time around <coughs> chemistry is fun isn't it uh, but if you do not have chemistry maybe a bit on the top side now it's going up but that's good right i now i have 5.2 now I want it to be at six, and I'm going to take a little bit of my of my light solution, which I already have on this pipette, transfer pipette. Then I'm going to put one more drop, mix it, then check. Now the pH is going up, as you see. So let's see if this gives me the six pH, six point zero pH that I'm looking for is the optimum pH to grow your vegetables. You have to know that. Now it's staying, it's 5.6. I want it to get to six. So let me give it another one drop. Good. Let me mix it. Check it again to see what we have. Even if it goes a little bit above my six, remember I told you 6.0 to 6.5 is perfect for your plant. So let's see what it get, we get. Right now we are 6.1. Let's keep let's wait. You're going to wait till the indicator stops. There's an indicator here on this. Uh, so you're going to wait till it stops. So let's check until it stops. <coughs> now I have a pH of 6.1, which is perfect for my plant. That is exactly how you adjust the pH of your water to 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 water for plants in simple time this is the water I want to use to uh, water my plant and the pH is 6.1 it's perfect vegetable herbs they grow well in between the pH of 6.0 and 6.5 though I really do not want to go to the neutral pH okay I prefer 6.0 and 6.5 I want to be I hope this video has helped you out. Let me do a quick recap. To adjust the pH of your water, there's two ways. Either you want to raise it or you want to lower it. To lower the pH of your water, you're going to use 50-50 citric acid solution, a drop at a time, okay, into the water, and make sure you have a pH checker to check it, okay? It's very important. Do not use a, a paper strip, a pH strip is not accurate, okay? Make sure you get yourself. My very, very favorite one that works very well is Anna pH meter. I have a link in the description box below. For everything I use today, even including the transfer, uh, little transfer pipette here. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Don't forget to increase the pH. You're going to use 90, 10, 90 light solution. 10% light. 90% distilled water okay that's to raise the pH of your water after you have checked the pH with the pH checker okay if you want to raise it raise it with 10 90 light solution if you want to reduce it reduce it with 50 50 citric acid solution that's about it and your plants will be so happy they're going to thrive well and grow well okay whether you're doing indoor farming or outdoor farming I'm an indoor farmer so I do a lot of this that's why I'm bringing this video to you if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up Click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video.